Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 Paul is telling in verse 4 and 5 My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words but with demonstration of the Spirit's power I want you to take a break to understand the word demonstration of Spirit's power because my topic what we are going to dwell uh, dwelling now is Spirit says those who has got ears let them hear as the Spirit says so here Paul is saying my words just not words words are just encouraging words I just you know I'll give you some stuff no 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 my words are the demonstration of the Spirit's power so that this is the connecting word so that your faith might not rest on human wisdom this is where my point is your faith should not rest on human wisdom but on God's power so when you receive faith you have two kinds of faith one is a faith based on your human wisdom and faith based on God's power can I hear one amen church amen. it's a beautiful revelation for me last night a faith can be on your human wisdom and this is where we are seeing most of the time among so called the believers they, even the faith is calculative even the faith is you know a uh, uh, tamper even the faith can be modified because they have some wisdom hey if God gives this promise no 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 this may be very difficult you may not if God gives this promise that's okay they're deciding on the wisdom you know why they're deciding with the wisdom their faith is based on wisdom because they're not seeing the demonstration of the spirit work amen hallelujah am I reaching church it's very deep if you see the demonstrations of the power of God through the servants of God, you believe impossible things. Amen. Hallelujah. If you don't see the demonstrations of the power of God when you're preaching or teaching or anything, people don't believe, oh, that is impossible. Because you're, you, you, the, the group you're connected, the ministry you're connected, the people you're connected, they're not preaching the word with the demonstration of the power of God. So you never know what is the power of God working in your life. Can I hear an amen? Am I reaching? So your, your, your preaching, your, your faith comes from preaching. Your faith comes from hearing. So what kind of messages you are hearing that develops the faith in you so that through the faith you can hear the voice of God. And if you're hearing it, a preaching, only just an example, only just an explanation of the word of God, with no demonstrations of power your faith level is also at that point where you can only see small things you can never see big things amen hallelujah for you to see the bigger thing you got to understand there's a power in the preaching there's a power in the word of god there's a power god's spirit's power can deliver you and bring you everything and anything because it's not by might not by power but by spirit saith the lord amen hallelujah glory be to god that's how your preaching should be. That's how your personality should be. You say in the name of Jesus, I deliver. In the name of Jesus, I speak the healing. In the name of Jesus, I release the power. In the name of Jesus, I release the anointing. When the people see the anointing and the power of the spirit in the word and the wisdom, then they can expect the bigger and better things from the Lord. And their faith is not at this level. Their faith will be at this level. This they will expect uh, an impossible things. Amen. Hallelujah. God said, uh, is there anything impossible unto me? We know God is not uh, a liar and God is not a man. But we never believe impossible things. Am I right? I know God can do impossible things, but I cannot stand at the table because we never experience the power of preaching, not just the word, but the, the demonstration. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be. It's a wonderful thing. Last night, uh, uh, the Lord uh, put in my spirit. Demonstration of the Spirit's power only can bring you to the faith uh, where you can see the impossible things. Amen. Hallelujah. 
demonstration of the power in your life, in your church, in your ministry, in your pastors, in your people. Hey, people should say, doesn't matter what you are. When God gives, he's able. I mean, he's not a man that it's like. He's not son of man. He changed man. If he says uh, one word, he will give you. It's A and amen unto him. Nothing in this world can separate from me the love and the promise and the purpose of God. Once he says amen, it is A and amen. That kind of faith cannot come just reading the word, but that faith comes up when you see the demonstration of the power of God. Glory be to God. That's what we are speaking. Demonstration of the power bring the faith that can elevate you. Demonstrations of the Spirit's power that can make you believe God is just God and God can do anything and everything is nothing impossible with God that is a faith that we got to exercise when you hear the voice of God Amen. Amen Glory be to God Faith based on human wisdom and faith based on God's power is so enlightening for me last night that's why we preach the word with the demonstration of the power of God. Amen. It's not we, it is He. Amen. Hallelujah. He that is in me is greater than He that is in the world. Amen. Everything is possible unto Him who believes the voice of God. What you see is not real. What you see is temporal. What you see is a sight. But I have something else. What I see is a vision. Hallelujah. What I see is beyond your sight. What I see is beyond the circumstance. What I see is beyond the situation. Beyond the situation is there my promise. Amen. Hallelujah. That is what we need in this life. That's what. Then only you can hear the voice of God. 